in Uganda today, the biggest problem that government is facing is the unemployment issue amongst the youth. Because I want you to just imagine having a, a percentage which is 78 or something of your population. These are youth, but not put to use. And when we are building a country and a nation, these are the energetic citizens that we need to employ to see that they build your country. Therefore, <laughs> I want to thank <laughs> the President of Uganda for the initiative. My bosses, I don't know whether you, you understand the meaning why I'm laughing as I thank the President. <laughs> because in the culture of Ugandan politics, the opposition, I don't know where they got it from, that you don't thank the government sitting. Mm. Apparently, we can't have two governments in one. It must be one government okay. controlling the others. Mm. And when it comes to executing government work, by the government does not look at parties. We only have a party mm. in government. And the, when it is in the government, you have to give space for them to perform. Mm. Where you feel they are not doing well, that is when we come in as a mayor who is a, of a different belonging, you come to give, uh, you come to give alternatives, mm. alternative views on how things mm. must be done. So I'm so humbled to have this opportunity that I can also raise my voice and also contribute towards the development of Busoga, mm. but particularly Jinja City. Mm. Um, where are the facilities sitting? You find that we, we can produce something and take it to us? So many initiatives have been put in place, like the neighborhood program, so many women fund, but it has not taken away the unemployment that we face in this country. And in the wisdom of the president, which we find very wise, it is this skilling program that is going to put people in the money economy. Because once somebody gets a skill, they can easily join the money economy. Because you will have learned a skill, you can be employed, maybe you can start up a small welding uh, plant somewhere, or a small carpentry, or a confectionery, or you can start a tailoring, uh, tailoring business. And then you have that skill that you can start within your community. Now that we have electricity in the communities, it is very easy to start such a process. So we applaud the president, thank the president so much for this great initiative. And uh, this is going to transform this country to a middle income country. So I want to thank you, um, Mayor, for that speech. That is the way to go. Politics has changed. When the ruling party takes over, if you don't want to work with them, don't, then don't contest. Pull out. Because by all means, constitutionally, you like to vote, you're going to implement their manifesto. So regardless of our political shares, this is development. Let all of us support it. And poverty does not discriminate the opposition and the NRM. It, it, it attacks all over, all of us equally. <laughs>